loved to play with Barbie dolls as a child. I was among those who watched Barbie the movie on the first day of its release. I really enjoyed it so much that I am thinking about seeing it again in the near future. Many of my friends have also seen it and posted on Facebook about how much they love that movie. But not everyone loved that movie. Okay, I'm willing to admit that unless you're a past or present fan of Barbie, this movie might not be for you. You have the option of watching the Oppenheimer movie, which was released on the same day as Barbie, and this past weekend has been dubbed Barbenheimer. Or you could watch any other movie, either in the theaters, or DVD, or cable, or network TV, or streaming service, that has absolutely nothing to do with Barbie, or even dolls in general. Then there is Ben Shapiro. Okay, Shapiro probably never played with dolls as a child. So he doesn't understand why this movie even exists in the first place. But it's not enough for him to decide that he's not into Barbie the movie, so he is going to ignore it and just skip it. He decides to throw a major hissy fit by posting this tweet complaining about how his producer made him watch that movie. You can feel free to pause this video to read. Shapiro wears an all-black outfit in the accompanying photo, which prompted this tweet in response. Shapiro responds to the horror of sitting through Barbie the movie by doing this movie review that lasts nearly 43 minutes. Seriously! In contrast, there is a YouTube channel called Derek Watches Movies where Derek compares Barbie the movie with the 1964 French film Umbrellas of Cherbourg. He reviews two movies and his video only runs a little under two minutes. While Derek seems cheerful as he does his movie review, Ben Shapiro acts incredibly angry as if watching that Barbie movie is absolutely the worst thing he has ever done in his life. And nobody in the entire world is more angry than he is. <laughs> Even the president of Ukraine seems less angry than Shapiro and his country is being invaded by Russia. As this meme puts it succinctly, if Ben Shapiro thinks that Mattel and Warner Brothers will be upset at his angry 43-minute review, he should think again. Shapiro paid a mission in order to watch that movie. Mattel, Warner Brothers, and the unnamed theater where Shapiro saw that movie have already profited from Shapiro paying money to hate watch a two-hour movie about subject matter that isn't even his cup of tea. They have his money, so they could care less about what he thinks about that movie. But then it gets even better. Shapiro starts his review where he takes a Barbie and Ken doll, places them in a Barbie car, then places a car in a trash can, throws a second Barbie doll into the trash can, and lights the whole thing on fire. Ben Shapiro had to literally spend his money to buy the dolls and car just so he could burn them in a trash can. Meanwhile, the money that Shapiro spent to make that ludicrous intro gets split between Mattel and the unnamed store where Shapiro purchased the toys. Mattel and that store has his money, so they aren't concerned about what Shapiro does with his newly purchased toys. That intro also led to the creation of memes that mocked Shapiro's ludicrous intro. From that flaming intro, Shapiro launches into a non-stop tirade about how horrible that movie is. The way he acts at times, you think that he was forced into watching a video showing animals being slowly tortured to death. Here are just a few select clips from that 43-minute review. Let me begin with my generalized assessment of the movie. This movie is not just a piece of shit. This movie is a flaming piece of dog shit piled atop an entire dumpster on fire, piled atop a landfill filled with dog shit. It is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. On every possible level, it is a horrific movie. The It's as though you were going to make Toy Story, except that toys are all evil. They're all bad, and you're supposed to hate them, and you should burn them. Because that's kind of the message of the film, is that... 
because it's just such a great gay masturbation joke. You, you got to go for it. I mean, what else will the seven-year-old girls in the audience think if you don't go for the gay masturbation joke on the beach? Clearly. There's so many places in the script where it's basically like the writers just, they left a gap and they're like, we'll leave a couple asterisks, we'll fill it in later. And then later they got there and they're like, nah, we'll just, we'll just skip right over it. Fine. Ladies in Barbie land had no immunity to the magic of the patriarchy, the magic. The women were seduced into, so just to point out here, the actual argument the movie is making is that if women enjoy men, it's because they have been brainwashed by the patriarchy. They make this message explicit in just a few minutes in the film. And when I say a few minutes, I mean several years because this film took years off my life. It is long, it is boring, and it's terrible. Okay, this is when we get the full bore thesis of the film. And guess what, guys? The, the thesis of the film, made by women, made for women, made starring women, funded by a studio that is largely staffed by men. The take of the film is that it is impossible to be a woman in the modern age. Because guess what would happen if a bunch of beautiful women decided to switch to other men simultaneously? You know what the men would do? They would throw a party. The number of moms who are going to take their daughters back to the theater week two, good luck with that. Really, good luck with that. Hollywood decided to empty out its own IP here. They decided they were going to take a golden piece of IP and they were just going to smash it and turn it into Weird Barbie. And I got to tell you, and this is going to have some ramifications for Barbie the brand. I don't know why Barbie the brand would hand this property over to people who clearly hate the property. Whenever I do film reviews like this, you know, lengthy film reviews of movies like this, the left is always like, why are you taking this so seriously? How dare you take this so seriously? Well, because this is a movie where hundreds of millions of dollars will be expended to get people to watch it. It has a heavily political message. It is explicitly designed to divide men from women. It has these negative messages directed at kids. It is supposed to be a kid's movie. It's rated PG-13. It is not marketed to PG-13. It is marketed to PG. Final rating. Out of, out of 10 Barbies, how many Barbies? 10 out of 10 being good. The answer is negative all the Barbies. Negative all of them. I honestly, just as a piece of film, this sucker goes in like my bottom 10 ever. Ever. It is that bad. Not just because of the politics. Because the plot makes no sense. Because the writing makes no sense. Because the acting, half the time, makes no sense. The entire film is a, is a dog's vomit. It is a dog's breakfast of film. So, yeah, I'm going I'm to go with negative infinity Barbies. It, it is that bad. If 10 out of 10 Barbies is like the stereotypical Barbie, this is Barbie head atop the robot body made by the weird kid from Toy Story 1. That's what this is. And if you think that Shapiro has said everything that he feels need to be said in that video... You're wrong. The following day, he releases an, an hour-long video that features a thumbnail from Barbie the movie. I don't know if, if he devotes that entire video to the Barbie movie or if he mentions other things as well because I just couldn't stomach watching two long videos in a row of Ben Shapiro being very angry. I don't get this intense anger over a movie. I've watched movies that I end up not liking before but you don't see me make super long, anger-filled videos about them. What's wrong with that guy? Was he one of those kids who asked his parents for a Barbie doll as a boy, but his parents refused because they felt that boys should never play with dolls? If that's the case, maybe he needs to see a therapist instead of making an ass of himself with these anger-filled videos. If Ben Shapiro thinks that his long review will inspire others to boycott Barbie the movie, he should think again. This tweet is one such example of how Shapiro's message has backfired. Way to go, Benny boy. You just provided Warner Brothers and Mattel with free publicity and got even more people to watch Barbie the movie. Maybe those companies should hire you as their public relations person. At least you'll be doing something more productive with your pathetic little life. That's it for this video. Feel free to like, comment and share this video. If you want to see more content from me, hit the subscribe button. Have a nice day and don't be like Ben Shapiro.